I'm gonna do that. You shit. guys turn it up. Shit, I'm like, shit, I ain't doing something. Yeah, later. I'll tell you what that was serious about, but that ain't even got shit to do with it. You was definitely that nigga in school. Like, hey, Mike was really that nigga in school, bro. I done seen like yellow fights in school. Go out and come back in. Go out and come back in. Dave said, so we trying to get this messy shit cracking, man. Y'all niggas brought me on this messy show. Damn. Whoa, what? Oh, baby. I'm back home. It's just at the rap with you though, cuz. He off lob now. Cool out here, nigga. But I had one of the things to do, cuz. You know what I mean? I don't know what to say, cuz. Thank you, baby. You better give me a show. Baby, I done heard you talk about niggas bitches in your ass, nigga. You can't never get on here and talk that. I know, I done heard you say that shit before. I'm waiting for her to try to get my shit. I ain't even tried to. She tried to get my shit. I ain't even tried to. She just did it. We are iPhone users. I want you to grow up and get an iPhone, man. I'll go to jail. Hey, I got the head jewelry shit. I ain't even gonna lie to you. You just always be talking shit. We going live? You got an Android? We been live. It's crazy, dude. I don't know how many niggas on here probably got their ass on before. You mean to tell me we sitting here looking like boo-boo the motherfucking boo? No, cuz. I ain't never had that happen. Hold on. 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 My bad, y'all. Welcome to Popular yeah, Ignorance, man. This episode, whatever the fuck, I can't think of what yeah. episode it is. But hey, we here, man. We about to get to some real messy shit, man. To my far left, man, we got my boy Hector Juan Carlos. Next to me, we got Trene joining us again. Behind her, we got OG joining us. Red Pill Crip. Get it. Behind me, we got my boy Bilal, fashion guru. Two dollars. What's happening, boy? You know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Join on camera. Hold on, boy. We got to get some message real quick. Join on camera. All right, bet. I'll tap it. My dumbass was about to say, who the fuck is David? He said, David, he got my ass. I'm going to the house. Fuck that, Joy. Come on now. Oh, you could. There we go. My bad. What's up, boy? Oh, shit. Let me share this shit. Hold on. Can we hear yeah. everybody? Can we hear him? Can you hear us? Barely. What's up, man? Man, hey, what man, it's Pop of the Ignorance, man. We got Fresco Holland joining us, man. You got a lot of shit going on as of today, man. Yeah, man, a lot of shit going on. Turn him up a little bit. I can barely hear him. Man, please, man, elaborate. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what, what happened, man? What's, what's up? Shit, think you got paid up, my man. You got I'm fed saying, up and you left. You got fed up and you left. I'm seeing some shit about living in a truck. What else? What else we seen? Nigga, I ain't living in no motherfucking truck, nigga. I'm just telling oh, you what we seen, man. What we heard, my boy. Hey, yeah, oh, God. Hey, oh, hey. Okay, what so else? I have a question. Well, I, that, um, I got a question. Can you hear me? Hold on. You can hear me? Hold on, man. Yeah. Okay. There we go. You getting bent? Huh? Okay, so it was some comments. It was some speculation. Yeah. I got another backstory. About who's doing what to who. Who's doing the bending? Shit, sure, I'm doing the bending. <laughs> oh, God. Fresco. I'm doing fuck. She took off the glass. Yeah, she ate my ass. That's what she did. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hey, I ain't gonna hold you, G. Hey, you a pioneer, my nigga. Holy I mean, ain't no wrong with getting your ass ate. You know what I mean? But it's stipulations. No, I'm, not, I'm, not gonna, I'm, I'm sure a lot of niggas ain't got their ass ate. But did you lift your leg up, though? Like, that's the real question. Yeah, as long as your nah, feet nigga. was on the ground. All right, as long as your feet was on the ground, you were still a real man. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so they said those cheeks was spread, though. What? Cheeks was What? They said what? Cheeks spread? Cheeks. Alexandria got the video, so she know what's up. You was what? Hold on, what? you said you have a you said you got a video twin? Yeah, I got a whole video of this shit. Oh. Who re who recorded hey, it? Hey, look at <laughs> I see a nigga, I was laying on my back recording her. Boy, you a wild oh. nigga. Ain't no fucking way. Oh. Ain't no fucking way. Oh. Twin. Hell hey. no, nah, bro. You say psych. Say psych. Hey, you see how serious Blair got? Say psych. Bro, twin, say psych. Don't don't share it, just tell him. 
You said don't shit. You just shit, twin. What you... <laughs> God, what you mean, my boy? Listen, man, y'all need to tap into popular ignorance, man. Look it up in your Facebook bar if you want to see the full view, man, of what the fuck we talking about. Because what the heck? Tap in right now, not a minute later. Oh, God, not a minute later, man. Come get this entertainment, Twin. man. What the hell? Twin. Right, you see what she said in the comments? I see what she said in the comments. What she say, man? Talk to me. What she say? I'm about to pin it for y'all. I'm about to pin it. Oh, shit. Pin that hoe right now. Pin that. Because I definitely can't see the comments. Oh, God, I can't see the comments. I'm about to go to this nigga live. Yeah, you got to go to his live. Oh, God. There you go. There it goes, so we can kill all the speculation. Oh, shit. Y'all see it? Anybody got it? He did lift his leg up, y'all. He did. And he wasn't bent over. And he wasn't he bent he over. Wasn't all right. Over. I mean, dude. Shit. Oh, never mind. What's, hey, what's her name? Is it Alexandria, the girl that you're talking about? Huh? Nah, that's not the girl. Oh, she the one that said you wasn't bent over and you didn't have your leg up. Somebody yeah. said share the video on my inbox. You a freaky dude, Key. I don't Bro, like God, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, real shit though. How you and your BM get to this place, man? Like, I feel like it was all good. Just what went wrong? What went wrong, man? We don't have kids together. Oh, damn. Not your BM with your old lady, whatever you want to call it. Bro, we got to this point, bro, because motherfuckers want to keep playing games, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I finally got fed up. You know what I'm saying? Long story short, like, this then and niggas in box was telling niggas that she missed them. You know what I'm saying? Old niggas and shit she didn't deal with. So I finally got fed up, nigga. One day, I tried to step out, try to go do my own little thing. So you started cheating, too. Okay. <laughs> try to step out and go do my own little thing. Who cheated first? That's the real question. So, shit. Man, we, we honestly, you could say we didn't cheat since we first got together this morning. Okay. I'm gonna say like I fucked somebody on her, she fucked somebody on me. She worse. She fucked the chick off. Apparently the cheating didn't matter because they were still together through it, so I don't think that was. I told issue. you, my nigga. I told you. Oh, phone though. And the phone. Damn. You should have did it. I ain't even do nothing, man. Come on, man. That ain't true, but yeah, it was alright. I thought we could do it with the tablet. Man, tell the that nigga. Be Tell him we'll be right back, man. Just, just plug a tally on there into somebody's phone. You got, you ain't got Androids, Dave. Nobody has Androids. No. Nobody. We are all grown yeah, adults. Put that white, you got to put that white piece on it. We are all grown adults without Androids, man. Yo, man, listen, if you right now tapping in, if you tapping in right now, man, get, give us a little minute. We have a little technical difficulty. about. If you get. had one of those, that didn't matter if we had Androids or not, Dave. Uh, that's not for you. It's not Type-C, though. That's a Type-C for Android. Oh, it's He type only C. got Android accessories oh, and accessories only. I thought it was an Apple dongle. <laughs> no, <laughs> man, nah. <laughs> yeah. God damn. So, he was getting his ass... Okay, wait a minute. What's my nigga name on here? D'Angelo, don't act like it's a problem. Sinead, don't act like you know he does. Whoa. Let's go Tell the people the real truth. Don't play with me. No, you don't play with yourself. Tell the people how you eat ass. Whoever told you that? You don't eat ass? You, what? Come on now. You eat ass? What you got going on? What the fuck are y'all talking about? Let's talk about? about the real truth. If you, if you lick Gooch, you can lick some ass. What are y'all talking about? I got a question, though. Like A day in no. my life. I have a no. legit question, though. What's up? Mike, you begin your ass eight? Fuck no. I okay, ain't cool. never licked a male booty a day in my life. You the only nigga that I can physically, like, oh, yeah. say with my own eyes. I know personally, like, you've experienced this shit. Oh, yeah. How did this, like, situation start? It was like, you tooted and booty? Was you on your back, man, nigga? Was your legs you up in the Every high? nigga that I, want the I know that I got their ass eight done told me the same thing. The Boy. bitch asked them. Yeah. I ain't never asked the bitch It's the fact that y'all said yeah. That's what, that'd be my next one. Hold on, though. But pick me out, though. Pick me out. Pick me out. This is like around the time Gabrielle Union was going around saying some freaky deaky Gabrielle shit. Gabrielle Union ain't got saying. shit to do with I'm, this. Hold on. She, she was yo, going around saying she Pick me out. Pick me out. So listen. So we was, I was sitting there with a bitch who's watching Jesus and Mero. I remember the day exactly, yeah, bro. bro. Sitting there watching Jesus and Mero. We having a whole conversation about this shit. She said some Beavis and Butthead. No, Jesus and Mero. It was a show on uh, Showtime or whatever like that. Like a little late night shit or whatever. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So we sitting there watching. She looks over at me like, would you ever get your ass ate? You said yeah. I was like, I don't know, bro. That sounded a little bit too freaky for me. But I guess me saying I don't know gave her the green light in her head. So one day we sitting there, like maybe like a week later, we sitting there drinking Hennessy, talking shit. Yo, booty hairy? Nah, I shave and everything. Like I'm real respectful. So you spread your cheeks to shave it? Nah, but I do the Captain Morgan pose for sure. The Captain Morgan pose. Yeah, <laughs> anywho. Wow. So we sitting there, you know, chilling, whatever like that. We in the kitchen, drinking, talking shit, smoking. She starts sucking my dick. Cool. In the kitchen? In the That's kitchen. Hey. You fuck in the bathroom. Your coochie is open right by the toilet. Who do that? I mean, I mean 
Anyway, continue. I'm just saying, anywho, nigga. Right. Nah, I mean, he starts sucking dick. Nah, nah, I mean, I look lie, at that. Man, we might as well book him for another week or something. Oh, God. I had to hit with that Captain Morgan post, start eating ass, and that was about it. Tell, tell, tell him, give us 10 minutes and we'll have him back home. Yeah, man, give me 10 minutes. Give us, I said, give me 10 minutes. Give us 10 minutes, man. Our producer was working some things out. Phone charging up. I don't know how he let it die like that. He thought he had some. Super tablet. duper charger or something like that. Nah, tablet, charge like a tablet yeah. chargers. Rookie. Yeah. Nah, anyway. talking shit. Anywho, man, but damn, it's popular ignorance, man. God damn. So knowing that a male's G spot is in their ass, you still wouldn't nah. let your butt get ate. Nah. Like you and that ain't an orgasm you ever want to experience. No. No. Nah. Cause one, I'm tall as fuck. Right. So, <laughs> I'm tall as fuck. Hey. Bro, he said like we short or something, bro. Like. That's what was your height. But I'm too tall to be doing that shit. Like, what? But I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. I don't want no bitch. Lincoln, nah. It just don't feel like. Now, me, I'm gonna eat some ass. Bro. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna yeah. eat some ass. But I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna eat the hood. You ever had a bitch lick your nipple? Eight. Huh? You ever had a bitch lick your nipple? Huh? Yeah, I don't fuck with that shit either, bro. See, I. Don't get saucy, oh, no. but you can just. Uh, I'm not an ass person. And, uh, do what? Did you had a nigga ass before? What the fuck? Whoa, wait, what are we talking about? Whoa. Did I say no to that? Like, I didn't hear you say that. My fault. I'm tripping. My fault. I'm weed, bro. The weed. That's what I was going to ask. You in my vicinity. Hey, I ain't going to lie and say that was going to be my next question. So, when you was in the relationship. I get my ass ate, though. So, you was in relationship with that stud. Did you ever eat coochie? Yeah, for sure. Did you eat her ass? No. Why not? That was a big bitch. I wasn't doing that. Damn, man. I don't got to do no shit. No. Was she really that big, though? You was in a relationship with a stud? It, yeah. Strap always hard. No. <laughs> I, saw a I saw a comedian talking about that. Strap like, always oh. hard. I ain't going to lie, though. Being a stud is kind of like a cheat code. Oh, oh. I ain't going to hold you. You blending in with the background and shit. We got to get a stud on here, though, bro. We got to get a stud on here now, because I want to know what she going to do. If we have a stud on here. Ladies night, free before 11. We got some cool studs out here. I ain't going to lie. Go out there. Gonna put that dress on. Cool stuff. Huh? You acting like Trinae, no, not a coochie eater. What are you talking about? First of all, I'm not a stud. I'm a Trinae. She's a Trinae. I'm a Trinae. I'm not a stud at all. Yes. I'm not a stud. But do, do stud titties smell like duct tape? That's what I need to know. <laughs> duct tape. Why you say that? I'm just what asking. Motherfucker, Eddie, that shit funny to the motherfucker. Not duct tape. Why would they taste? Why would they smell like duct tape? Y'all pin them up against each other. It's hey. special. It's binders, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got binders. Binders? Like a five They're star. They're called binders, a, yeah. A, a three prong or five? Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, hey, that's, right. that's, that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> what, what? That's what I was on, too. Hey, would you like ever smash this thing? Hell yeah. Fuck no. That pussy brand new. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga It ain't got wow. no miles on it. You want to you know the Carfax on it? Brand new. Oh, God. <laughs> Ain't nobody touched that motherfucker. At she all. probably let one nigga touch that Oh, God. And he probably did it wrong. around with some studs to be sneak. They say they sneak that's, that's Bro, yeah. Snick if you, if a dick. stud ever pop up pregnant, bro, that's crazy. Oh, it's the brat. I wouldn't even trip about the stud being pregnant. I'd be tripping that's about the nigga that got her pregnant. But how, though? It's still a woman. That's zesty. Because yeah. it's like, nigga, you took that down. Because you like trying to crack someone that want to be a man. So that means, like, but I no, feel no, like. No, 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 no. You have to know the difference be between a, a stud and a dyke. It'd be the dykes. It'd be one of the. It'd be the. Studs just like. Webby, just boosty, like, bad. What's the difference? Hold on, wait. Boy, I just want to say this. It's Niggas, we can't say that word. Like, yeah, they, we can't I, say you, that word. You people, I didn't say shit. Oh, if we're not part of the LGBTQ community, we can't say that word. Can't but she can say it because she. The word. The D word. There you go. Hey, yo. You can't say dyke. Why not? Oh, damn. Whoa, what you want, beloved? Chill. I'm trying to make. Oh, that's on there. Oh, yeah, we can't say that. Chill. Oh, be cool. Oh, I didn't know that. Relax. Oh, that's why I was confused. She can say that because she part of that community. Like, that's why I get oh, that. Sorry. That's why I gave that little breakdown right there. So, you know what I mean? Nobody got confused. It can differentiate between the male and female. LGBT talk. Go ahead, what you were saying about the, 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 the shit. I don't want to say the wrong words. Studs, What's the difference? Some studs, like the girl that I was with. She dressed like a little boy. She got her hair braided like a little boy. The boy. But she just said that was her comfortability. She mm -hmm. said she never wanted to be a boy. That's why she still liked to get her pussy ate. That's weird. Yeah. But then some it's that's some. Like touch me not. They don't it's want me really touch some that, that is like really extreme, like doing the boosie fades and a doing no, all the a extras. Like hold on. What the fuck's your question? No, I don't even mean to cut you off, but it just dawned upon me about this. Dawned upon. Nah. That's dope. <laughs> You were sucking the stress. That's a very that's, good question. That's, that's aggressive. Hey, 
No. They, hey, that no ain't sound good. believable neither. I'm not going to no, hold you. I don't believe that no. I ain't see some shit on Twitter like, like somebody was going to be attacking, attacking the strap. Like, and and the motherfucker be moaning. Like, what? <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. I swear to God, that's a uh, that's an ego thing for the girl. Like that's that the stroke, up, the, yeah. the stud. That's to stroke her ego. I never stroke that bitch ego. Boy. What are you stroking like, though? Like, if you would stroke that bitch ego, I want to see what you would do with me. Shit, I want to see how. He, shit. he just threw a shot. Oh, shot from right. forty, boy. What? But like, hold shit. on. The real question is: While you sucking the fake dick, do the do the girls does she get an orgasm from sucking the that's, fake dick? What, I don't know, cause you know, know, you know, like bitch. No, you, what you do? You, you really? Yeah, I'm gonna say you rub your pussy while you getting your dick that's up. Where you def- that's how that's you know, thing. like a stud, and then the ones the that really end. want, like the ones that are over yonder. She out. just really over wanna be yonder. a little boy. Like, in she that just, shit, like I know what they saying. got that shit. You know what I'm talking? You know what I'm I know like? Over yonder, <laughs> like the ones that's got out crazy the mentally type shit that feel like they can. Like it's a mental thing for them. They probably really be busting nuts, be a, bro. They do. <laughs> we got to get away from this conversation. We got to get away from this conversation. Hey, what was the, what was the what topic we supposed to come We have to get away from this conversation. Because I see this going down a dark path. What you asked us earlier? Some shit, some oh, A-yo yeah, would type shit. Would you ever shit. compliment a male? Like, could you ever compliment a man? Like, tell him, hey, bro, would yo, you ever yo, give another man a compliment? Yeah. yeah. It's cool to be But it's, nice. the, it's the wording on you. Oh, it's the wording to it. You wouldn't look at a man and be like, damn, you, you look good, bro. Fuck no. You, you look straight. You look, look good is crazy. It's an occasion you can't pull that off on. Like, say your brother getting married or something. Like, you look good, bro. Like, dead ass. Like, this is a big occasion for that man. So you can say some shit like that. But you won't tell him he thinks. I can respect that. Okay. So if it's a motherfucker you ain't seen in a minute and they pop out and they step out on the so, like, like once I, again, so once again, so what's again, so if you seen your brother, you can't, hold on, I can't pop out see, hold on, I, can't, I, can't, I can't, I can't pull up on D'Angelo and be like, you look good, bro. So you can't, but I wild. see this nigga every day. But if you like, pull up I, on D'Angelo and he was three more D'Angelo's, you gonna be like, damn, D'Angelo, you got thick. No. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> You huh. know. Hey yo. Huh. Why are you over here? Hey yo. Why you can't say thick? Hold on. Say nigga, you got fat. Go ahead. Yeah. Why? 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 Why would I end the time out? Time out. Time out. Time out. Niggas can't be thick. Out. Yo. What? He fluffy. Damn. You got fat. Nah. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Fuck that. Time out. You got cakes, buddy. Perry, hit the mics, please. Mute mics. Mute the mics. Oh my god. Mute my mic. The fuck. Mute they motherfucking mics. Why mute my mic? Mute they motherfucking mics. Because you can't tell another man he thick without being masculine behind him. Mute they motherfucking. Mute they motherfucking mics right now. Nah. Hold on. We hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. I'm the only one that ain't muted. Thank fucking god. Time out. Flag. Flag on the fucking play. What the fuck? I don't like how the fuck you just added me in that scenario. Too much, dude. It was three more D'Angelo's, and he was just. If it was three more, you. He be thick. I would be like, nigga, you got thick. That's why nobody can hear you right now. They can only hear me. They can only hear me. They can barely hear. Look, you like an echo in the cave. What's wrong with her? Don't ever in your life add me no scenario like that again. You better think of a nigga named Oscar. You better not ever get big, or you gonna be sick. D but with see, man, turn us back on. Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, my mama. I'm going to tell you this right now. If I ever he catch... made me stutter. Hey, I ain't even going to lie. If I ever <laughs> catch one of y'all in public, I'm throwing a pebble at the back of your fucking head. I swear to God, I'm a mama. You better not be I sick while you do it. I'm going to laugh. We finna reconsider the bringing on more female co-hosts. I'm God. Bro, I'm tr- bro. I'm telling you, if this was the 60s, I would have beat both their wow. ass, bro, not on camera. Not the 60s. Hey, and when nobody said nothing to me. I'm just saying, like, it's I feel fact, like it's the fact they try to make us freaky for nothing. We're not trying to make you freaky. Thick. I'm just saying, like, if you're a male and you it's comfortable with everything that, that you're doing, like masculine enough, like it shouldn't be hard to give a man a compliment. The like besides the freaky, like the thick stuff. Sassy. I feel like y'all I'm hella comfortable so, with myself. So I'm, so what I'm, not, I'm playing about the same So what are y'all saying is? So what is y'all saying is the the situation where I'm confused because nigga. I'm just saying, tell, like, I could walk up and be like, "Blow your shit, your shit, your fit busting, bro." Like that shit, your shit. That's like, what we yeah. saying. You can I give know. another I'm man a compliment, outfit, but what if, like what to his face, his figure. Why am I looking at this man's face? Your brother, your brother, boy. Why am Why I'm looking at my brother's face? Talking about, okay. bro, you cute. No, no. Thing I get no. to some shit like that is like we with some hoes and some and some bitch be like, "Your friend Mike cute." Be like, "Yeah, my name Mike cute as fuck. Go get on, nigga." Like, you know, I ain't saying that. Nah. Oh, oh hey, time out. <laughs> Flag on the play again. Yeah. Nah. Like, I ain't rocking like with that. that Only thing I'm going to say about my man, if, if, if some bitches ask my man, my nigga get bitches. What you mean? Hey, she, go get So you want to say my man's cute? That is- 
He get bitches. Why would I say my man's cute? Because if you cute, you cute. Now just think of that. If you in a club with a female, if you in a club and you talk to your, you talk to some dude and you got your homegirl. Gosh, the fuck was that? Bless. Yeah, I said bless. Thank you. Okay. Oh. I was, I was, I didn't know bless after that. Shit. I covered my mouth. Yeah, so if you in a club, yeah, so if, if you in a club and your homegirl, like you with your homegirl and you like, you talk to some dude, he got a homeboy, you gon' and he be like, yeah, my nigga cute. Hey. What you gonna think? Huh? Listen, he cute. If you just randomly say some shit, I'm gonna be like, if nah, if, if you, you, if you, you ask, context, like, bitches go get and give bitches compliments all day. That's, that's females. So why is that's it so hard you for a male? It's, ego thing for it's not about ego. I'm not calling no man cute. Y'all say it's yeah. Bad. So y'all don't, bro. But see, where hold are the on comments? Where are comments at? Because I don't, hold on, I don't believe all females like women. Like women have made literally everything a nigga do gay, bro. No, one thing we say that y'all can do. I was literally just arguing. going backfire in the long run. I was going backfire. I was literally why you calling niggas cute, nigga. We we just watch yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. we just watch you say niggas No, no, we just talk. This nigga got his ass ate, bro, and he got to pay for that. Ooh. You feel me? He uh-huh. do. So when y'all give us that green light, but when you mad, that motherfucker get yellow fast. Oh, you were nah. saying all of that when I was eating your ass. Right. Yo. You did. I ain't, I ain't never like I ain't gonna judge you niggas if that's that what you want to do. That's what you want to do. do. But, but oh, I don't give a fuck. But you look crazy. Would you check your homie like, though? Like if y'all got into it, you'd be like, "You old ass eating ass." Hell no, nah, because ass. that's crazy. Nah, because I feel like that's boosy. Because like, if somebody, if I ain't gonna lie, if people was more less judgmental, yeah. a lot of people would be like more freely to say how they feel about. Especially the black world. That's my thing. It didn't even become a topic until Kevin Gates started saying it for real, for real. Like think about it. Like before Kevin Gates started coming out about nah, the booty, nigga, the Milo was talking about eating ass in eighth grade. I, don't, I knew I don't about know eating ass was, way before Kevin see, Gates. I don't know nothing about it. Yeah, nigga was eating, Gates, trying to eat ass at uh damn near Hickme, yeah. But eating mafia, all that shit. You know what's up, Mike? On God, you remember? Oh God, like that was eating ass at Hickme. I ain't gonna say time I out. Was. Time out. I didn't eat pussy. I turned twenty, like nineteen. Yeah, I don't just, do I just, just recently started getting freaky on God. I wasn't born so in. So you was eating. You was eating. No, wait, 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 wait. You was that freak nigga. You was that freak nigga. Ah, that nigga said I heard stuff. You gonna build? So Dave, you was that, you was that freak nigga. Hey, how long you been fucking? That's the real question. How do you? What? Uh, oh, this you fifty one. You only that? Yeah, you ain't living. You retired. You retired from that. Same woman for thirty years, and we just ain't doing that shit no yeah. more, bro. Miss that's sh- a young man sport. We are gonna come back to that, but hold on, because that, that's some bullshit. Okay, so serious question: Did you go to freak meet? Uh, you were lame as hell. Something similar. I missed that era. Though. It was Damn, freaky. down in Florida. Was, it was real freaky. Yeah, what? what? I told freaky. I told the story on the uh, on the show the other day. This little it was this, this black college reunion down in Cocoa Beach. And I'm talking about flooded. Dunk, six foes, all this bullshit. Oh, shit. I got this little chick number, nigga. She called me 30 minutes later. It was like, my shirt is gone. What I had to run that because they had pulled the motherfucking shirt off. Damn. Up. Smashed yeah. the shit off. Oh, of yeah, it was real. Damn, bro. Yeah. I can't wait to that fucking. I ain't going to lie. Y'all show. heard of Black Spring Break? Mm-mm. Yeah. Well, look, That's bro, what it was. I know, that, I ain't shit never been in, that shit in Mississippi. Mississippi yep. I'm trying to go. Nigga. Yeah. My cousin went. Boy, he said it was ass everywhere. Yeah. I'm talking about. Are you sure your cousin ain't dying? Go to heaven then? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I thought he was. <laughs> nigga, she. What the fuck? Nigga died and called me. I don't know That's what's in that fan. If it's pollen, but I just start sneezing soon. <laughs> but nah, bro. That's how that blood coming off. I was talking to a chick the other night, bro, and she literally told me how uh, if a nigga fucks too many women. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> bro, every time, there's no way that's a fucking sneeze, bro. It's not like she's like DMX coughing she's or like some shit. like dying or something for a second. Hey, hey, yo. But nah, uh, she literally said that like, if a nigga want to fuck bitches all his life, he's gay. Like, hey. he don't never, bro, stop doing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> if she, Say it again. If she want to fuck, like, if a nigga want to fuck bitches all his life, he's gay. Like, if he never wants to settle down, he's like a homosexual bro, I don't, see, shit, bro. I don't, I don't see, understand that shit. If he ain't never satisfied with no bitch, if you cheat on every single bitch that you fuck with and you come encounter with. It's no, it ain't too many like that. It, it was more like if a nigga just don't never want to settle down. Like, say, like, he never want to get married. He don't never want to be in a relationship. He just want to run the streets forever. Like, why? Because that's what y'all want. Oh, what are you talking to? Y'all, y'all want y'all. women. Women want that horse and carriage and happy marriage shit. Y'all want that shit. If it's up to a nigga, bro, he going to slay these hoes all day long. At some point in your grown ass you mind, you got to know it ain't nothing in the streets. It ain't nothing out here for you having a whole bunch of five, ten thousand. It's a lot of shit out there. Out there. Because, because on the male side, of, <laughs> but where is marriage benefit in a male? 
I mean, I didn't say I wanted to get married. No, I'm not saying, saying, but like in, general, in, a, in a relationship, where does marriage benefit in any sort of way? Where does a man benefit in marriage? Thanks. What do you mean? You have somebody that you can call your own. You have somebody. But then you're telling call. me, hold on. But what you're saying <laughs> you is, that, so <laughs> what you're saying is, I have to stop having seven bitches to have one. <laughs> what you're saying you is not. No what what you're saying now. is, you need seven bitches to satisfy you. Not one can. What you're saying is, you're a man that cannot. Com- like complete a thought, complete an action, settle down for anything. You That's just, not true. Just I sometimes. Mean, does, I'm not gonna lie. Having one woman well, is see, very. I feel like I feel like women. Y'all think about the shit way differently than men. Do. I don't think long term. What's the no, worst? No, see, it ain't got. See, and that's the first thing. Every time you had this conversation with a female, they gonna say y'all don't think long term. No, long term. I'm thinking like shit. I can survive by myself. Like if I wanted to. Right. Like I don't need. To go out here and be with a female, I don't need to be like, oh yeah, I want to marry you. I don't need you to you complete was me. On survival, nigga, go be by yourself. But y'all was raised on believing. But y'all was raised on the whole different aspect. No, Let me get a nigga, get married, no horse love. and carriage shit. Niggas are raised on survival. You think women are raised on love now? Fuck no. Now? Fuck no, y'all. It depends on the breed. It depends on what you grew up around. Like I grew up around respectful women. I grew up around like my grandma and my grandpa raised me on what they did. Like they didn't 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 like they like my grandma, my grandpa been married umpteen years. My mama married my dad. That nigga, he doing to him. But everybody else, like in my family, like I like the women that I've seen in my life, like it's and always nurturers. been, yeah, nur- they gonna be there. Like you gonna always have a cooked meal, and at the end of the day, it's not, oh, I just need you to provide, cause my grandma damn sure got up and went to work just like my papa did. Mm-hmm. It wasn't just a, oh, I need you to survive. No, I can do this by myself, but together we can thrive. That's the type of deal that most women are looking for. Niggas like to. Uh, y'all like to think I thrive better alone, but let you find that woman that uh, match your boots or match your your uh, your hustle mentality, and y'all thrive together, and you see what y'all can do. That change your whole aspect of life, male or female, like regardless of what you like. That's why I feel like settling down is more of a it's a mental thing. Like eventually you'll get there. You might not think it now, but like eventually you'll get to that point where it's like, yeah, I can do this by myself, but I do it better with this person. Once you get to that point, that's when you be like, okay, that's who I want to be with. But y'all ain't got to that point. We we are still young. We still don't care about certain shit that most people care about. But, like, looking at the older generations that I look at and what they're going through, like, my, what my grandparents went through, how they didn't have houses together for they decades. They got married out of convenience, I feel like. No, I wasn't out of convenience. Being, not, not, not so much your grandparents. I feel, like, I feel like that was the case back in the day. Is, but Being no, that I old and getting like married out of convenience. I, I'm I feel about like to it's eat. convenience more but today than it is. I, I think it's convenient more today than it is yeah, now than it was in the back back then. So you know how you saying like you was raised up on people that's like you always seen people being married, successful married. No, I didn't always see a successful marriage. Well, you didn't didn't say, but you, you but said I your grandparents. You named three people. My mama just got married two years ago, nigga. So you can name three people that have been married and they've been solid. You know, so far rocking while they've been married, correct? Yeah. A nigga like me, I can't name. I can only name one successful marriage in my lifetime. I only consider that successful. It's my grandparents. And that's, that's part of your upbringing. And I think, too, though, yeah. because only reason I consider it successful because my grandpa ended up passing away before my grandma. Like, my grandma's oh, still here, but I consider that as successful because, you know, OG passed away. But at the same time, what about the women? You love a nigga, but every time when we get a divorce, you're going to take everything. So you, I can work my I'm ass off for everything. Get married because I'm I think I love you. You change your mind about some shit. Now you got all my shit? No. That's crazy, bro. My whole bro. thing is this, bro. My whole can thing I, is this. Can like, I say one thing? Come on, Mike. If you're going to say something, come on. I didn't want to get on show. I got all like the daddy white teeth. I, I was just going to say that uh, nowadays with women being so independent, we got cases where the men's is getting uh, uh, white spousal stuff. support. Sure. You know, it, it, the whole dynamic. The thing. niggas that no. get spousal support are, are niggas bitches. that marry Adele no, what, and shit. What, what I'm saying is, I'm not rocking with that neither. No, listen to what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that the spousal support argument almost goes out the window because most of these women nowadays, they make more than the niggas do. You can look it up. They, they make more do? than the big niggas do. I don't they, want to say the what's that to do with preference. You know they got the highest paying jobs, yeah. bro. Look it up. It's what facts, they got to do with bro? preference, though? Like, yeah, it has nothing to do with preference. Talking, but that ain't... But look, that this is preference. This, this, I don't know where I'm going. But women, this, this is my point. This is my point would be that I want to get across with the whole shit. We talking about two different generations. That. We talking about a generation of women that didn't 
first of all, I feel like this generation was raised on the princess shit. The every, Disney shit. Every little girl, any little girl, I don't care, shape, size, nationality, whatever, whatever, was always told they a princess. You gonna marry a king? I'm a queen. I know. Whatever, so princess. Right so look, you was conditioned so look, to believe you're supposed to get everybody supposed to get ain't married. Ain't shit wrong. Ain't shit wrong with telling your little girl she gonna be a queen or whoop 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 whoop. But at some point, somebody got to install the fact like y'all gotta work for shit though. Like you can be a princess and all that shit, but at the end of the day, like you gotta get out of here and work for some shit. And a lot of females don't want to do that now. They want the niggas that's going to throw that, bread at them. But you have to that, understand, it's the niggas that do that shit. So if okay. they to go for so, the niggas. And them the but, niggas that ain't, and them the niggas that y'all going to be down the line, like y'all don't, y'all don't gay this nigga all your time, whoop 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 he threw the bread at you, whoop 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 Now that nigga ain't got no substance. He ain't got no substance. He, ain't he got lame nothing. as hell. He lame as hell, corny. corny. Right. Because like, niggas don't you realize. You ain't really feeling that nigga. You feeling his money. It ain't even that the fact that you're feeling, to. you're not feeling the money, you're feeling the thought of what somebody else can do for you because you yeah. feel like as of right now, Go ahead like, and cook. He, 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 he ain't closer to the, he ain't scoring, but he closer to the rim than you is. So yeah. you're going so you to have you trying to hit your wagon to his shit and hopefully you can You want to know what's crazy about that? Oh, That's right. why, I swear to God, if a nigga's broke, a woman will talk to that nigga however way possible. However way. Do that nigga so greasy. If a nigga got bread... Preach. You not never finna do that nigga. Oh God, he cooking. Is, nah, for real, cooking. And I can, I can, I, I can preach on that. I can I, preach I on that. I am the type of woman that if you are a man that ain't doing what you're supposed to do, broke or not, I'm gonna talk to you how you need to be talked to. She I know a nigga that's she making twenty seven something an hour. Mm-hmm. But you know it's crazy though. Broke, but when he's not doing what he needs to do. But you know it's crazy though. I understand that. But I'm. Saying, I don't care about. Now hold on, Mike. You know it's crazy how we talk about two different generations. Back then, you could have been broke as hell. Your grandma would have never talked to your grandpa's kids exactly. because no, why? he's a man. As a man, you was taught to have respect and dignity with a whole bunch of shit. And at the same time, I hate seeing women say shit like, I'm not saying your grandparents went through this because I ain't never realized. My, and my grandparents never went through it either, but I know old niggas that was. Them old niggas, when they came home from them wars and shit, they wife ain't cooked that meatloaf right, you was getting your ass beat on. Nigga, nigga, nigga. And then that's why our generation is the way it is, that we are now so self-reliant on ourselves so we ain't got to worry about a nigga putting their hands on me because if a nigga tried it, I can get up and move and left. Point blank, period. I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it happen in my but, life, so I, I but know. But that ain't even a point. The situation, it all goes yeah, back to the simple fact, like, motherfucker, we can, a nigga can do whatever he possibly can to really be, like, the nigga a bitch won't, and she not going to be happy, bro. Like, that's the moral that's of the story. Because a woman happy. That's, that's not the, the, idea. Idea. That's not me, the woman me, for you. Let me ask you something. But it's the, but it's the simple fact, like, bro, it's so many female out here that think the same way, bro. Yeah. It's hard to just, oh, this bitch didn't work out. Let me try the next one. That bitch probably think the same way. That's probably Stop the best thing. And I ain't gonna lie to you. But running. that's the thing. You don't be all too hard. Let me let me ask y'all fellas something. If you if if you see like you and Floyd Mayweather just in the mall or some shit, and he pop off, what you gonna do? Like talk shit to you. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not fit to talk shit to Floyd because he can box. Like that's crazy. Okay, dude. what would you do? Mm, it, I don't know, bro. Proud like, motherfucker. Floyd, I ain't gonna like, hold you. What you what you gonna do? Proud motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I probably. I'm, I'm a foe. But watch this. She said, "I don't give a fuck what you got." Females will talk to you crazy, knowing they can't whoop you. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's the whole. That's a whole different level mm-hmm. of. You know what I'm saying? We in a whole different era. I ain't gonna lie. See, I, I, feel like, I feel like not a good women example women though. I, like, yeah, I, I, women know to try the that shit. Reason, you know hold on, D-Lo, The only reason I'm saying that Floyd not a good example, bro. I watched the interview with Floyd earlier this month, and this nigga's called his jet like, hey, I need you to come pick me up right now. Like, what, what nigga got bread to just be like, I got a jet that's going to come right, pick me and my niggas up right now. We finna go to Dubai tonight. Yeah, no, nah, Like, but, imagine. All right, Mike, when we leave the podcast, d everybody pack your bags. We're going we to Dubai. Dip. Nah, come on now. I'm like, just saying the level of respect. Like, women don't. They'll talk because crazy Because people so don't understand. Money cannot unlame you. You can become the richest nigga of all time, and if you still lame as hell, you still lame as fuck. So all these niggas that got money right now, and I'm not hating on niggas that got money or bread, cause I ain't broke, I ain't broke or nothing like that. I, you know what I'm saying? I right. But yeah, I understand there's some money is not a person. <laughs> money is not a personality trait. Facts. No, no, no. But what I'm saying, I'm just saying, like women are so arrogant to the, like your grandfather, your grandma, and grandma, your grandma. No, I can't whip this nigga. Hell it's yeah. respect off GP. I'm not gonna put my hands on this man, cause I already know. You know what I'm saying? Like it, 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 it can end up bad. A woman now put her fucking finger in your forehead mm-hmm. and, break and guess and say and say guess what? Put your hands on me 
and then she'll send that's 16 it. niggas that don't know nothing about what she just did to oh, get God. to jump on you. And that's you ain't did shit wrong. Did. And that's the thing. They ain't even jumping on niggas no more. Niggas is getting shit to the men. Mm-hmm. They get on a bro. t-shirt, boy. What you talking about? Boy, quick. It's over. Well, it's a lot of niggas that are going to sit to the, sit to the upper room boy, like that. I'm like, trying to tell about you. About nothing. And the bitch was wrong. And the, yeah, and the bitch was wrong. Like, I done been in situations where I was fin- Like, yeah, we it was going to go there. Like, but I didn't get the whole story. Like, I didn't know, like... This she spit in this nigga's face. Yeah, then slap the nigga with a beer oh, bottle and shit. Like, I had to park your shit too. Yeah. Shit, the fuck? You gotta not put yourself in situations like that as a woman. And that's easier said than but done I, because and it, that's I, what you I'm saying. You just said you would talk to the nigga. I know, I know but talking is talking. But I'm nah, not I, I, like, that's the I, thing. I, 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 and I will say, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I will say, as women, we will cut deep with our words. We are cold blooded. Criminals, when it comes to our words, like we know how to hit you where it don't hurt, like where it's gonna hurt the worst. But, like, but at the same time, you as a man, as this strong da 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 this that you so claim to be, gotta have that type of stability to know that that's still just words. Why do you have to put your hands on man, a woman? Why don't you respect, nah, nah. Why don't you respect me enough not to say that shit to me? Why you don't? Why don't you respect, respect, respect yourself enough to walk away? But if, hold on. But if, no, I that's, that's your, crazy. That's if I respect crazy. enough not to beat your ass in this motherfucking house, you don't respect me enough not to say those right. fucking words to me. What are we talking yeah. about? Here? So yeah. let me I gotta you. respect you enough to I walk away if you just violated me up and down, bro. Nah, I'm not about to. But my thing is, why do? That's the thing. Why do? See, see how y'all both. Will we react that same way? Why would y'all react that way? What do you mean? If you know why me would as you... a person and you know how I'm but going to no, react, why would it, you... But I that's would the thing. Way. Every no, no, female no, no. is the that only way, The only reason I react the way where I'm uh, physically or in, in any type of way make you feel like you need to put your hands on me is if I didn't try to get out the situation and you didn't fucking fail to move. What's up? No, I'm, sh- I'm talking about... I'm talking about... I'm talking about the... I'm talking about the pure... The pure fact of I'm not gonna talk. About look, shit. I'm not gonna talk reckless to you. I'm not gonna do none of that. If you don't, if I say at the jump, like if you see that I'm frustrated because I'm the type of person, it takes a lot. I'm a goofy ass person. Y'all know this. It takes a lot for me to even get to that point in my life. So, how, how do you get to that point? Give us like, an example. I can't give you an example. We gotta be built up on top of build up on top of build up for me to explode. And then when I do so, I become the bad person. Now it's like, oh, Trinae, what's the problem? But the thing is, before I explode, I'm like. Bro, get away. I feel I'm going to go. I'm going to go by my way. And then if you follow me, you so you come from one room to the next room to continue a conversation that I just told you is dead, leave it alone. Or if I leave out the house and you come to the car when I told you it's dead, leave it alone. Now I'm coming Now I'm coming in with them daggers. Now I'm hurting. Now it's like, oh, you saying all of this and that in the well, third when I tried to leave. I feel that. that that's, not what I'm, that's not what I'm trying to argue with y'all about. I'm trying to argue with y'all about the fact like, Females dead off, dead ass come out the gate with bullshit. Like, I done Some been do. in, I done been most like, do. like most do. Like, bitches feel like, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna call y'all bitches. Women? I'm gonna call y'all women. Yeah. So, women come <laughs> off the gate, like, they get frustrated, they get they get into a situation where they feelings is hurt or whatever, they automatically want to even a playing field. Like, I could not, I could have hurt you on accident, but you gonna intentionally try to fuck me Fact. up with some shit you finna say. That's different. And then, because how you accidentally hurt somebody? What I did was it malicious. Be some, what you it doing is malicious. All the time, though. How, it could be like it could be give like me an example of an accidental hurt. Okay, can, so okay. say so Ooh, say I, I got it. I got a perfect. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Any nigga got one. Oh God, nigga. So say so say some shit pop up. So say I told you we was gonna do something. Say I had some plan for us or something. Mm-hmm. Some shit pop up at work. Mm-hmm. Bitch feelings hurt automatically. You ain't doing what you said you was gonna do. You, you, ain't shit, you ain't shit. You ain't shit. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. You ain't never did shit for me. You know uh, how bitches. But yeah. listen, as a female, I can say honestly, personally, like now this is coming from my own like life experiences. It's gonna take you telling me that multiple times for me to start getting at the point where my feelings hurt. Hold on, bro. I I'm not. You. I mean, the I first you. time, okay, <laughs> cool. I understand business, is business. The second time, all right, shit. Next time, let me know afterwards. The third time, now you fucking with my emotions. Don't even set hit me up to set up nothing if you don't know for sure what you are going so to. So would be you rather doing. have a bum ass nigga that ain't got no money, that ain't getting no bread, that ain't got no job? I'm not saying I have a bum ass nigga. So I'm, I'm saying, saying no. would you rather take put his responsibilities first to you? I'm not saying put. I'm not saying not to put your responsibilities. Have a sense. But if you can't do that. With a nigga job, like most of the time. I, listen to what I'm saying. If it happens multiple times, that's moving the goalposts in the conversation. Yeah, that's moving the goalposts. Y'all make it hard for niggas to be men, because at the end of the day, we gotta make sure we dare and make sure we hold y'all to this on this pedestal. And then you know what's crazy, time, bro? 
we gotta work to get y'all on this pedestal. And if we don't work to get y'all on this pedestal, we ain't shit. We ain't doing nothing for y'all. We ain't no. We ain't no. Value you know what's crazy, bro? A relationship is only in jeopardy when a woman is unhappy. Not necessarily. The no. man's happiness is not fucking important in relationships. Yeah, yeah. And that shit trickles down. Yeah. 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 What? Yo. Men, men have That's the tendencies to be like, no, hey. listen, listen. Hell no. D'Angelo. Go ahead. Say some bullshit. Men have the tendency when y'all are upset, y'all tend to keep that shit in and y'all go tell y'all homeboys. Y'all don't tell the people that fucking matter Stop. Hold on. to fix Stop. this shit. Stop. Stop. Hold on. So you don't talk to your homeboy about no. your feelings? No, no fucking so time out. So time out. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold I, got, I, got her, I got her. I got her. I got her. You can't expect nobody to do Stop. it if they don't know what to do. Hold I'm on. Sorry. Just I'm like sorry. you just said. Oh, if I tell you how I feel over and over again, and I keep saying this, that, and the third, and I get mad and I snap. You will tell a bitch all day long what I need, what I want. How I feel, they don't understand shit you fucking they don't saying. Understand. They are not gonna change their fucking actions. They're not gonna do shit different. Bro, exactly. you, know the, you know the one thing that killed me. You know the one thing that killed me. Playing the, the most. fucking victim, motherfucking song. The one thing that killed me the most about being in my last relationship was the was her attitude, bro. And I would always tell her like, bro, like your attitude just fuck up the situation, bro. Like, if you just if you just fix your attitude, like, bro, everything be cool. And, bro, every time we got into it, bro, the attitude would be the issue, bro. And I'd be ready to break her fucking face. And I would be wrong. And then it'll always come back to, you don't never talk to me about your feelings. Well, motherfucker, I told you my biggest pet peeve with you and you still It's your fucking attitude when you're trying to talk. And that's, bro, I'm going to come back to it, bro. It's every female, bro. They The attitude, bro. It's the attitude. Females not going to change for you, but they, they want you to change for them, for them. type shit. Well, you know, what kind yeah, of foul bro. shit is yeah. that, bro? Okay, I'm let's, not let's rocking. Do, that's by, not true. Biologically, men, women are mentally stronger than us. Emotionally. They know how to... You know, deal with emotions a little mm. bit better. Than That's this. why we try because to push if, out of Because if, if we get emotional, schools and shit get shot up. Motherfucking bills, buildings get knocked down. So we have to control our emotions. I understand what you're saying. But in they, way. we are physically stronger than them. So we actually have to compose ourselves. They can't, they can't, but whoop also at the same time. So they got to beat us here. But I, because they can't beat us here. But if you want you know but if you know this motherfucker not mentally stable, why keep poking why the fucking bear? Why you play with him? Because it's not socially acceptable to actually. The bitch in but the if head. there was no fucking moral cause of no, if I can't beat your ass, you can't beat my ass. If, if, if normalizing, females knew you, if, if females know you gonna show restraint, they, they gonna, gonna try you harder. Exactly, they gonna I, press. Bro, nah, that's not fair. If you bro. knew you was gonna get whooped by a nigga every time you talk I crazy to him, you would probably hold the door for the nigga. They wouldn't say a month. What? Still to do it. I know some females that'll get beat up and still do it. Yeah, like they know, like they gonna get their so ass beat. So it ain't, it ain't, it ain't nothing about uh, uh, male aggression. It's all about the person that you with. Because eventually, if you with a person and y'all are meant to be together, the shit dies down. The uh, petty arguments stop. Like, I like, y'all always <laughs> like they argue. said, mm. <clears throat> some of the shit that we doing is a child's game, and they've been uh, they beyond playing it. So once you get beyond playing these games and shit with that person. Then it becomes something different. But our our generation, we still stuck in these games. Like, we tit for tat. We big tit for tat, motherfuckers. And I can say yeah. that for a male or female. We tit for tat. Like, motherfucker, you hurt me, I'm going to hurt you. You do this, I'm going to do that. Yeah. And that's that's where we got to stop it at. Because if we stop being tit for tat, then it, it leaves one person looking like the asshole on the next person. Now, you can move on about yourself. Either you're going to figure it out with this person or you're going to figure it out with the next person. But if you keep going tit for tat, y'all just look I said that tit for tat shit not honorable, bro. I feel like if you cheat on somebody, Facts. that shit not honorable at all. I heard Patrice O'Neill say this shit, bro. If you cheat on somebody and you cheat on somebody righteously, like you had an issue at home and they weren't fixing that shit, they weren't fucking you, whatever the case is, you did that shit out of the justice of your heart, then it's cool. But if you're going back on that tit for tat shit, you an honorable motherfucker. You ain't trustworthy, okay? <laughs> Go ahead, OG. I ain't going to lie. I ain't, ain't going to shout tit for tat, but like, you was tit for tat. Nah, I was cheating already. <laughs> <laughs> but like when I found out, like I just went harder with the cheating. Crazy. Yeah, like then I was like, shit, fuck it now, like you see. Man. See, I never, I didn't want to do the tit for tat. So when I, when I was, when I got caught, when I got caught up in the whole got cheat on type deal, I was, I was cool. Like I just broke it off with the person, and then. Like, it is what it is. Like, I don't care. I'm not going to no, keep going back and forth with you. Bro. Like, yeah, of course, my feelings is hurt. I'm She's hurt behind sneeze, that. But at the same time, <laughs> yeah, this nigga about to die. I've been about to I'm say, baby, go ahead. I'm going to just have to sneeze for the show. She's going to have to die over here. Because he's, he's burning. Hey, you right by that right light, boy? Yeah, you toasty. Yeah. Go ahead. But I was like, I'm but once I, when I got cheated on it, one like, no, I'm about to do tit for tat, nothing. I just was like, you know what? It's cool. I'm cool on it. Like, 
we can separate. Like, if that's what you want, then do that. Like, let me do me. And then <laughs> you went your direction. I went towards females. So, like, did now you, it is what it is. Did you want to leave after he cheated? Yeah, it was, it was like, I, at, the, at that point in my time, like, it, when the situation happened, I felt like I was the most vulnerable. And at that point, when I needed that person the most, I didn't have that person. So... Because they was giving the attention to the next person, so okay. So he cheated on. Like so he cheated emotionally. He cheated. So he he was like into this girl. He it was, was fucking. I don't know if it was. It could have been emotional. It could have been physical. I didn't give a damn. Once I why found is out, cheating I found so out. serious, bro? Like why? Is why it so if it's so, why well, say that you're gonna be with me and only me? Why say I'm the only person that matters and then go off and mess with another? It's female? deceit. It is deceit. <laughs> but the thing about it is, is men, when we cheat. If like I'm talking about physically cheating, like if I pay a bitch bills, I think that should hurt your feelings more than me fucking her. Yeah. But if I, yeah, because if I fuck her, it's not. We not tied. I'm gonna keep it a bean. A bitch gonna accept cheating as long as you don't start a relationship with the other bitch. That's what I'm saying. Like if you like you don't start paying this girl bills, you picking up her kid from work and shit type shit. But if she fuck another nigga, cause look, I told I tell motherfuckers all the time, I will fuck a bitch I hate. If she bad enough, I hate you. But a fem- a, a woman is <laughs> not good, huh? fucking a nigga that they don't like. No, we're yeah. not. You not right. just busting it down for a nigga you don't like. You. That's the whole. That's, that's the dynamic, right? And there. we done we done talked about it before. It all come back to females cheat with emotion. Facts. Like they don't cheat with you. Not fucking like, niggas like a nigga like, you don't like. We've all heard it. Like niggas think what they dick. Like we don't. We don't be yeah. cheating out of the kindness of our heart. Like, we be trying to fuck something. Be right? <laughs> she be like, who you cheated on me with? I be like, here go pizza hut. Here, here no, call the bitch. I ain't gonna lie. Here, here go pizza hut. <laughs> Order pepperoni pizza, bitch. You know, bro. Right. Yeah, her like, name is she don't know what you talking about. <laughs> tell her you want, tell her you want some crazy shit. In oh, God. Right. <laughs> go ahead, tell what you, you say? I was about to say, a lot of times, niggas get, like you said, niggas just get, I'm trying to fuck some. Sometimes happen. That's why I'm also not, like, marriage is like a thing that I really don't look forward to. If it happens, it's cool. Right. If it don't happen, I'll be more content simply for the fact that, like, bro, if you really think about it, bro, that shit don't seem, like, it don't seem too fun. Like, I'm, I ain't never met an old nigga that don't hate his wife. Fuck. I swear to God, <laughs> don't be trying to get well, like. My Eric, papa don't hate my okay. girl. No, nah, bro, you just don't know. He just don't right. show you. No, they don't I ain't never like, like you. Ever really talked to an old nigga about his wife, bro? This nigga's going any, to tell you something from thirty some years ago. But bro, she did that, that you know, pissed him off. Know, but like, to this, this day, he don't understand why she did this. But hold on, you know what's crazy though? When people that's been together 30, 40, 50 years, you know why they don't live past two, three years after that? Cause they be broken. They can't live without each other. Can't, nigga, they love each other. Yeah, genuinely. No, nah, that's def- you know that's saying? definitely a thing. I, mean, I definitely. That's cool. The that's older cool. I get, I done, and especially yeah. from personal experience, I do understand that shit. Yeah. I do. The longer you be with somebody, it do be kind of hard to wake up and not talk to that person every you know single day, even if it's a hello, good morning yeah. kind of situation right. or whatever. And who's not out the game at sixty? If a nigga is stellar, he might not be out the game. If you but fuck, bitch, if I say did he stick fucking hoes? Shit, and you single. That's Diddy, though. That don't count. You can't sit nah, on the sink no more, bitch. It's going to be wrinkled with hate. All right, nigga. Shit, who else? No, 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 no. Nah, I know some old niggas that yeah, still be man, out here thugging. Yeah. No, a man, yeah. And he ain't Dave said, I'm an old nigga, and I still yeah, can get some pussy yeah. if I wanted to. No, but at the but, same time, <laughs> who's getting really cracked by a six-year-old? Be honest. <laughs> Hey, you would be surprised. Oh no, you know, you you know they you they, know they be, post they into is the past there too That's much. the thing they break and bread. That is insane. Shay, exactly. Keep it real. <laughs> a six year old hit you. I got five bands for it right now. Bands. Bust he, that motherfucker. He, he doing like I got a trick, so Michael Jai White. He's 60, and he's sixty. Bro, this I'm watch the car you niggas, it's niggas out here probably knocking hoes down that we want to knock, knock down. down with you some fucking somebody paw paw. That's insane. Hey. When you go bro, to Christmas, I know, it's Christmas. I know a, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dave, shut the fuck up. I know, I know a bitch right now. I know a bitch right now like with some. Uh, bill, hey, I know a bitch right now pushing a a three fifty Benz, bro. Right now, old nigga bought it for it, bro. Yeah. Ew, Dave, hey, yo. This nigga talking about old balls. I don't even need that visual, like, my boy. Shit. Like, shit. Dave, know, you yeah. said you been married thirty some years. Been with the same woman for 30 years. Yeah. How long y'all been married? Don't yeah, answer, nigga. That. 10 years. Damn, so y'all a boyfriend and girlfriend for 20 years? Mm-hmm. Boyfriend and girlfriend. Nah, for so what are you that nigga was that nigga was trying to get through. Someone. He was trying to make sure, nigga. He had, he was thorough through the prog. Hey, I don't blame you, bro. I, I got a better I'm route for real, for real. For real. Ain't no way. Y'all gonna talk about it. Let me on the mic. <laughs> I got a better route. 10 minutes, friend. 10 minutes. 
Yeah. No, do number 15 now. I got a few dollars. You fucking around, Perry. You fucking around. How long you finna talk? How long you finna talk? They said my knee's bad, my back. That hurt. nigga said I got a story. Hey, you talking yeah, about? These knees strong in the motherfucker. We good, we good. He ain't got the mega a- a- Ask away, goddamn. Huh? Ask away, ask away. Y'all was boyfriend and girlfriend for 20 years? Well, the thing is, I just didn't really believe in the whole concept of marriage. And you got to understand, we hooked up when I was like 22, 23. You know, so I didn't ever really go through a whole phase of really out here cracking motherfuckers. I just, you know, we clicked and we just stayed together. The shit worked out. But over the years, we grew to love each other and shit. And it was like, I still didn't believe in marriage. But at a point, I'm like, fuck it. If this is what you really want, God damn it, let's do it. That that's I what it came down to. Compromise. I can respect it. Compromisation, yeah. I can respect it, but shit. Yeah. I just feel like that's a lot of that is something that comes with it, it comes with age. Yeah, mental like your mental but the age was so hard. Once on. I found you out said I wasn't it come going with no age, more. but how old was you? You said you was twenty three days when y'all first hooked up. Yeah. So they the same age as us. I think it honestly just Ooh, also twenty three. It's the same, same age round. Mm, I wish. We all in the same age. All right, perfect I'm example. Thirty. Last person I was like, talking to, we, we kind of just came from two different demographics of life when it came to shit like up. that. Uh, we'll talk but about it, nigga. It came out to it. different, like, Beach demographics shit. of certain things. And I'm not like, out here, I'm not going to say all the business and shit like that. But yeah, mm-hmm. things up. certain shit you do, like, now sit back in hindsight, like, damn, I do understand why she went, you know, went about certain shit the way she went about it simply for the fact that that's what she grew up knowing, though. You know what I'm right. saying? That's what certain motherfuckers yeah. grow up knowing. When you grow up knowing something versus somebody else, everybody always assume you toxic. Nah, I just didn't grow up around that. Like, you grew up around that. Right, right. So I don't value that as much as you do. Okay. So it's, I'm wrong. So to you, you saying I'm wrong, but really there's no right or wrong. It's just a yin and yang, honestly, situation. No, Nobody's I understand right, that. Nobody's right, nobody wrong type thing. Let, let me say one thing about that, though. The thing is, is that marriage ain't for everybody, it bro. It ain't. It ain't for everybody. And the thing is, the only time that shit works is when both of y'all really want it, and both of y'all then committed to each other and say, God damn it, we're going to stay together. We're going to work through whatever fucking comes up. We're going to motherfucking thug it out, you know. And, and what happens most of the time is that both parties ain't on the same motherfucking page. You know, one person is willing to thug it out, but the other person still got reservations and still, you know, is trying to figure shit out. So... That with us, it was like we both was thugging it out. But as far as the vows and the marriage and all that shit, I wasn't really ready for it because I didn't see the necessity in it. I'm like, bro, I'm here. I ain't going no motherfucking where. What's the fucking point like, of putting a, putting, a, putting a label on it? You know, what, what was the fucking point of us putting a label on it to where we've been together 15, 20 years? I ain't went no motherfucking where. We didn't built the whole life together. We got a house together. We got kids together, whatever. What's the point? But see, the thing is, you have to understand, some people just look at at their relationship as far as what society deems it as and how society views their relationship. I think at the same time, though, Dave, too, like, if you think about it, like, all right, perfect example. You saying you and your wife were together for 20 years before you decided to get married. Yeah. And then y'all still live the separate same life that y'all lived before y'all got yeah, married. Yeah, nothing changed. You just put a ring on it. Well, yeah. what's the so what's the true benefit? All marriage is is a piece of paper that says it wasn't no want. benefit. It was what she wanted, and I was willing to compromise and give her that. So okay, I just want to say one thing before we get up out of here. Bro says something about coming from different demographics, and I want to say like if you a nigga that if you a nigga that don't care for marriage, bro, do not date no girl that just came from ma- no. Don't date no girl that came from a two parent household that was married. Don't don't do it. Cause that's I all she knows. That. That's all she knows. But that be the oh, hard part. So here's the thing though. Because I done met two pe- I done met people or talk to women that are, you know, lived in a two parent household but their parents was never happy. So they obviously see, you know, a little bit of your demographic. But when you see people that's too happy, I do agree with that. But how do you know a motherfucker when you first meet them, when you vibe, you meet their parents like, oh, they've been happy their whole life. Like, I got to quit fucking Boy. with you now because I done seen you got a happy home at home? Nah, it ain't even about, like, seeing you got a happy home. Like, it really just depends. Like, some, like, I ain't gonna lie, I don't, he, I don't went to the, I don't, you know, I went to, the, like, the whiter school. So, like, nigga, when I say two-parent household, I'm talking about the, he left the white households, the, 
the black families that parents is doctors and shit yeah, and facts. lawyers yeah. and shit. I know like, you talking about. These motherfuckers, these motherfuckers got them them pretty picture painted family type shit type going on. Yeah. So nigga, when you see them type of girls, like bro, you might as well just run because most of like that's what they want. Like that's what they done came from. That's what they. Me personally, if I ever found a woman that I like, that I was like, yeah, like I get married to, and it made sense. Yeah, it would. But at the same time, I'm not real big on if some shit. I'm real big on what happened on the other end of the spectrum. Because if this shit all fail and you take all my shit, yeah, that's, that's shit I, terrible, that's what, bro. Because like, bro, I done been in the situation where I done had that happen. Like we like we wasn't married and shit, but like bitch. Like females just flip a switch one day. It's like they flip a, or like you you think it's one day, but like really this bitch done made this decision over time. Like, like she been thought yeah, about that she shit. She been bro. done. She been done. Want, like away. figure this out. Like she just waiting on her time to do it. Like nice. and that's the shit that be killing me about the situation. I don't like shitting and like not knowing about shit. But like you, bitch. you know what the fifty year, forty year anniversary is the most the most thing that like what you celebrate is the family reunion. The generations you see when you sit in a room, when you see Big Mama and you see OG, and then there's 70 people in there from these two people. Hell yeah. They got five kids. They got five. They got three. Now these little hoes is having kids at 14. Nigga, they, they got one or two. Not seven. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? You got four generations in one room. That's the payoff. Don't nobody give a fuck about what no woman do for work. But then at the so why do we? Hold on. Time out. Pause. I'm glad you said that. Because a man will think about that. A woman will not think about the payoff before she say some shit or smack the shit out you. I swear to God, bro. <laughs> a woman will not think about the payoff before she smack the fuck out you. Sometimes right. better after. Yeah. Sometimes it ain't gonna be no payoff after. Something that y'all don't say, that y'all do and say. They don't think about it till after it hurt. Until we make y'all feel yeah, realize that it hurt. Because y'all don't think about it like that. I never saw it in there since. Yeah, what you mean? I, I wasn't because the, the shit wasn't that deep in my eyes. Exactly, oh, God. but it's very deep in ours. Mm. And that's but hold on, what you talking about? Hold on, I'm lost. Catch me up. What you mean? What like you in certain to? situations, like some niggas might not feel like a nigga might not feel is like like he said, it's not that deep when it comes to certain things. Like for instance, when me and my uh dude, when me and a dude, nah, when me and my baby daddy used to get into it, mm -hmm. uh, one of our yeah. biggest, yeah, <laughs> two years late. When me and my baby daddy, yeah. yeah. you know what's crazy? I used to hate your ass. I know. I, I told D'Angelo that. Like oh, I, boy, I, I, wanna, this I almost fucked you up in school. I almost fucked you up in school. Conversation in the car. Like, we about to fight one day. Anyway, but when we was together, one of my biggest things was communication. Like, I was pregnant. I felt like if I called you, it was only because I was calling you for a reason. So, it's no reason that you should not be able to answer your phone. And his issue was he felt like it wasn't that deep of an issue. I'm at work. You know, sometimes I can't be around my phone. I get it. But when you see that you're around your phone and you see that you've seen that missed call, why not just shoot me a text or call me back instead of just letting it go throughout the whole day? So, with that no situation, though... No Type shit. So that was my because he felt like it wasn't that big of a deal. But and you was pregnant. I kind of like I oh, get he, that. He, he, like he, I get like as did. a man I get that. But I here's the that. thing though. The only reason I'm gonna say he wrong in that because she's pregnant. Yeah. And anything I mean, like you. I mean, even after the life. pregnancy, it was still like that. But it was still it more so was communication. Like before I was pregnant, that was the issue that happened because, like I said, he never felt like it was something that he needed. It was a big deal about. Be that's therefore he never felt like it was something he needed to fix. Even though I told him time after time after time after time, like this is one of those type deals. Like I need that type of communication because I give you that. There's no reason why I have to wonder what the fuck is going on with you when you don't have to do that with me. Now, if the tables turn, I'm a bad person. Why am I not? We retaliate well, on you, doing all of that. Did you stop communicating out of spite? No, I stopped communicating because we weren't together. Oh, well, that's cool. Fuck it. For sure. As long so, as you didn't do it out of spite. It just all depends, bro, on what kind of person you are. I think, personally, like, me, I always say this. If I found out whoever I was talking to was pregnant, if we was together, I, would, I feel like if you cheat on somebody where they pregnant or you married, you kind of sick, bro. Only because, like, when a woman is pregnant, she created a life for you. you put, so mm -hmm. She put her life on the line for right. you. So for you to right. do some shit like that, if y'all yeah, together, yeah, yeah. what if you cheating and you didn't know she was pregnant? That's. But I'm saying, <laughs> hold on, hold on, say that again. You were saying, you didn't like, know she was pregnant. Say it's just a, a chick cheating. you been smashing. Oh, yeah, yeah. And she nah, get nah, pregnant nah. and you ain't, y'all ain't together, go ahead, keep smashing. But if this is your woman, like the one you posting, the one you going around saying this is yours, yeah. you're you, you well, weird for that, bro. If you, uh, if, if, hold on, let me, hold on, let me, let me drop a bomb on y'all. If your girl pregnant and you're gonna keep cheating on her, get the other one pregnant too. Fuck it. <laughs> Let's have these close hey, together man. so we can get them up out of here. On that At fucking the same note, time. man. <laughs> I think the message of the day is fucking. Uh, if you're gonna be in a long term marriage, man, or a long term relationship, the message of the day is fucking forgiveness. Hey, shout out to my. 
Shout out, shout out to PTSD, shout man. Shout out to PTSD. You, gotta you can get through those shitty days. Push through, know, yeah. Pushing through shitty days. Not I like shout out to like Montel, you, you know. Shout out. But um, get that, get those, get that merch on. Hey, get the merch, merch, Blurt. merch. God damn it, blatant AP. Uh, be thizzle. And I know you got some new merch to get dropped, man. I love KC shirts. Had to do it. Finally, do a shirt for the city. So. Stand up for the visual, man, so people can see that oh. shit. Yeah, I'm a fucking tough on my mama. And where, the, where, they, where they get them at? Where they, where they get them at? Link in all my social media bios. So if you my friend on Facebook, hit the link. Any What's social media you got me on, it's always going to be linked. What's the little what? black box over there on your right side? What you mean? It's an eye. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. My I bad. I love KC. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, one six versus everybody. And what's your uh your socials for our audio listeners? B.Dizzle on Instagram. Uh, My name, Bilal Stanford on Facebook. Uh. This is the most, I ain't gonna lie, it's the most y'all ever call me Bilal, because don't nobody ever call me that for real. <laughs> but that, uh, that's it for real, for real, yeah. You ain't gonna hold you, I'm sitting here looking at Shay's big toe, that motherfucker look crazy right now, I ain't gonna hold you. No, that the one world? right there. It's yellow, What's yellow. That motherfucker look, I don't know, cocked ace deuce. I think it's the way her that foot turned. That bitch is diesel. Well, that motherfucker strong. But I got like five. <laughs> My bad, yo, I'm just looking at them strong ass toes, sorry. Uh, t- <laughs> threw me on. <laughs> Well, okay, bald head, bucket you can't face. call me bald head. You <laughs> long, no, 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 I gotta get drunk back before we go. You long <laughs> neck, <laughs> trout mouth. I got enough here. To Double get shot, boy. Like, you lucky, but next you week we starting it with that, man. To the far left, man, we got my boy Hector Juan Carlos, man. Give me your socials of where they can find you, ever quick. Shit, you know it get hectic everywhere. No, it does not. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Tough. Damn. This shit on my hey. nigga commercial. Immediately. Damn. Tell him about the store and everything, man. Yeah, fuck that store, my baby. The shop? I'm about to pop out with a new one. Stay tuned. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, respect. Uh, What about the uh, fight party? I know you got promotion oh, yeah, shit coming the, up. The, 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 the fight party canceled. If y'all didn't miss, yeah, if y'all missed the post, it's canceled. You. We got double book for the venue and smoke shit. The B&B canceled, too. Damn. Damn. Damn, it's just a bunch of It seeds. rained on all of our parade. My bad. Shit. We'll OG. be back, though. We're going to be back. <laughs> OG, give me your socials and everything, man. Hey, man, it's Anti Coon, a.k.a. Red Pill Crip. Holla me, John C. Reynolds on Facebook. Next Friday, we're going to be in the, we're gonna be on the Purple Pill podcast down in uh, Dallas, Texas. We're going to have Richie Fontaine, uh, Instagram superstar, nigga, Dude. half a million uh, followers. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be on that motherfucker uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna be on uh we're gonna be at uh Black Charlie's for the 420 Fest. What's Bring your on? drugs. Uh it's just like a little concert. YGKC, Money Marlowe, T T Rome. You do rental okay. cars? Huh? You say you do rentals? Uh uh-uh. uh. No, no, no. Oh, I thought no, no, you no. said rentals, my fault. Oh, oh no, no, no. My name <laughs> my name is John C. Reynolds on Facebook. Oh, I thought you said <laughs> rentals. <laughs> I thought you said rentals when you said that. I if wasn't I do come out like with a rental car though. company, that's what I'm gonna call that shit. John C. Say, rentals. Shit, I'm about to get it. <laughs> we finna hit the road then. <laughs> Once you, you was just on uh, that uh purple pill uh, podcast not too yeah, long ago, right? I was in Dallas about two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. So where can they find an episode there? Uh just look it up. Purple Pill Podcast. Y'all see us down there. It's episode like forty five or some shit. They got about 27,000 followers. We getting it cracking, you feel me? Mm-hmm. We traveling with the shit. We getting on. We putting on, man. So, all right, all right. everybody tap in. Appreciate y'all for having the nigga. Yeah. Shit, we appreciate y'all had the floor fucking. today because you know. <laughs> come to my podcast. Everybody over here, welcome, nigga. Come to the Red Pill Crib Podcast. Don't fuck around. Slot. Fuck around. Tuesday. Just pull up. Yeah, so yeah. Just pull up. Please pull up. Just You, you more myself? than welcome, too, but you don't be coming. I come on Tuesday. I don't work. I got you. I'll be here. All right, for sure. Oh, you lying, son of a... Shut the fuck hey, up. No, 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 no. Don't even talk to $2. Don't even talk to her. Don't even talk to her. She be coming. Lying, motherfucker. I done had so many viewers. We're Shay Shay. We're $2. We're Shay Shay. We're $2. No, not a viewer call me. Why they call you $2? Because I don't know what they call you behind your back. You want to know what I call you behind your back? I don't give a fuck. So Anywho, Anywho follow me, you can follow me on TikTok at Big Underscore Nate. You know, hit me up there before I become real popular and act like I don't know none of y'all because this real. is gonna happen. Oh my mama! Once I get them followers, I will act like I'm from Atlanta. I swear to God. Uh, back to what I said. Follow me on Facebook and then they don't play that. Don't judge me. I can't change the name. Uh, you hit me up on Instagram at Big Underscore Nate. I might be small, but this bank account big, bitch. <laughs>
Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Mic drop. Respect. All right. Uh, Shay Shay, man, give me all your socials and all your information and everything like that, man. At $2. <laughs> Cause one day, bro, one day she had sent some shit to the group chat, and like it was like a pack of some shells, like some some Swisher sweets or some shit like that. And it was like two dollars, and it was like two dollars, and she only had two dollars with her. She was like, "I ain't got only two dollars," but that was all she had in the picture. So you was smoking a Swisher? I swear, to- oh my god! <laughs> nah, they was leased, bro. Was they was leased. Was that though? Hell, was it? No, they was some new. They was they was some new shit. I forgot was what kind. The they was some leased though. It was some zigzag wraps. I mean, yeah, exactly. that's what it was. You passed me a switch and now I'm a da. I swear to God, I can zig- get I can get jiggy with a leaf, but some zigzag leaves. That's like I ain't no smoking. Mike. Leaf. What'd you be smoking, Mike? I'm on no. a I'm on a vanilla backwoods right now. Boy, I got a whole gas. thick thing in them motherfuckers at the crib. Them motherfuckers go crazy. See, I've been going hard on them dark, them dark, uh, them dark sweets. I've been getting Man, a bottle. I ain't gonna lie, bro. When the when the cognacs came out, bro, I bought a box. Bro, All right, B, give you a social one more time, man, before I get mine. B. Dot Thizzle on, on, on. on Instagram, Bilal Stanford, B I L A L, Stanford Lake University Bilal. on Facebook. Just hit me. Man, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, save you. $2. Yeah, see? no. I never stay. I, I, I yeah, $2, really man. Y'all know who the fuck I am. Angelo I wouldn't Cor- buy that with my own money, but yeah, I'm, not right. gonna yeah, I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to judge you. Angelo Corleone. That's crazy. Angelo Corleone, man, on all social sites, man. Uh, I think Tracy Ellis Sauce on Instagram, man. Make it. sure y'all follow Popular Ignorance on all DSPs, including Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Pandora, anywhere you can find a fucking podcast. We are there. And we out this motherfucker. You know the vibes. Peace. See y'all next week. Gang. I'm going to start telling everybody.